<clears throat> today we're about to try god damn today we're about to try and do something to the car well to the ecu of the car so i'm gonna show you guys like how it is right now me doing the changes then me testing the changes so yeah give me a second all right so we're in the car and the rev limit it's like 6600 or something and you can see it's just yeah and then i'll show you guys behind the car as well Still troubleshooting, but I believe I'm supposed to be pitting uh, 2 to 17 and 18 to 14. So 18 to 14 puts the ECU in right mode and 2 to 17 puts the inside OBD2 port to connect to the ECU. So hopefully that works. And now we're gonna continue to try to do some uh, stuff. So this is the settings that I have. Well, this is the settings that I did. I don't know if you guys can see it or know what I'm doing, but I'll show you guys exactly what this thing does. So I'll get back to you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so the EC was riding right now. Hopefully I did everything right. I don't see why I wouldn't. It was pretty simple. A couple little bleeps and bloops. And yeah, this thing usually says it takes like anywhere from 15 to 15 seconds to like a minute or something like that but yeah it's pretty quick like if you see this is all in like in in time turn the ignition off for 10 seconds to reset the ecu so let's do that one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm um, just trying to make sure that the computer is somewhere that it will not fall. Extra time is not a bad thing at all, as I've seen. Oh, I'll bring the chair over. Like, it doesn't matter if you let the thing sit for 30 seconds, a minute, an hour. As long as you don't do it before 10 seconds, then you're good. So, yeah. Okay. Boom, the computer is set. Now, let's turn on the car. turns on fine so um what I did was disable the sap the secondary ear pump in the settings it was still on and it didn't throw code but I was like you know what let me just reset it and the second thing I did was the uh, fast accelerate roll fast like revving so I'll show you guys that in like a couple minutes once the car warms up but yeah as long as I did it right then it'll do something pretty cool and then um yeah so I guess I'll just check back to you guys in a few minutes and then yeah so um it says it should be all done so let's try and close that 
Um, boom, unplug this. Everything is still cool. So I'll get back to you guys in a few minutes once the um, car warms up and show you guys what I did. <clears throat> well, let's see. So, I think it did do something. And since it's catless, I mean, since it's not catless, it won't do like any pops or anything like that. But I did, do still have to play with the exhaust. So, I'll show you guys something really quick. smoky but it did work okay so let's see if this thing is all sorted All right, see, so now that worked. I'm gonna have to tweak it a little bit more because um, the RPM is kind of high. Um, I put 7100 thinking that it wasn't going to scale it properly, but now that it's scaled properly, it actually does go to 7100, but that may be a little bit high for stock um, screens and stuff like that. But um, you know what, let's, let's hear it again. Isn't it? Not sure if I showed you guys the in the car view, but you see it. <laughs> 